Hi there and welcome to another very 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 long video on how to make this coat. Uh, it's cool so I hope that you can endure it. So I got this little piece of woolen cool pink fabric from my ex-mother-in-law who was very kind to give it to me and it's not that big but I thought it could be turned into this cool little short boxy uh, jacket. So I just quickly traced uh, on top of this and cut off the excess bits and then then it was already in motion. It was the greatest beginning of this little coat uh, jacket tutorial. So you can always just use a jacket like that and uh, you will definitely get something that you can use for something. And cutting up one fold here because that will be the front opening of the coat, the jacket and uh, a little neck opening there and uh, then I can use those last little bits for some collar and some pockets. So never throw away those bits because you can always use it for something. Um, yeah, and always save those little remnants that you can maybe also use for something else later on. So that's two little pieces for two little pockets uh, that will be stitched on later. So very cool. That's a uh, quick cutting done and now we're ready for the stitching together. But of course, also, I wanted to have some lining in this little jacket and uh, I had this great scarf from the thrift shop, just checking if it fits and yes, it is the exact same size. So I can just use that as a lining into this uh, jacket so I can hide all the ugly seams and fraying edges in there. And uh, that's, that's just really nice and easy and cutting up the front opening there as well where the zipper is going to be. And there's my little cat who thinks it's so interesting to be with me in my sewing room and it's very very cozy definitely love a little bit of company but here we have some of the bits i also need some lining for the pockets uh, so it's again good to save those little pieces and then we have all the pieces cut now we have the zipper so now it's just about stitching it together so first of all i'm doing those pockets so i'm placing the front of the fabric uh, facing towards each other and then I'm stitching not all the way around but three sides and a little bit more and then just folding it out to front in a while and then I'm going to close it up by yeah folding the fabric in towards the in towards the inside and then just stitching in place there and then we've got one nice pocket done and that pocket will be stitched on of course with the front of the fabric facing out so it will match the rest of the coat and I'm doing, I've done both of those now, so they're ready. Then we've got the coat itself, which uh, there's not that much that needs to be stitched together, but there is a little bit. So we have like part of the shoulder seam is in one place, but then I've cut it off a little bit. So it needs to be stitched a little bit there from the opening of the sleeves and up towards the shoulder where that is, because of course I didn't cut it all the way through because I just wanted to use some of the fabric that was already uh, yeah, that was that was kind of fine for the size. So I uh, I have a little bit of the shoulder seam that's actually just the fold of the fabric. And then we have a little bit of shoulder seam that we need to sew. And then, of course, also this down towards the sleeve opening. And then we are, of course, also stitching it together from the bottom of the sleeve opening and down towards under the arm, towards the side and down towards the bottom of the actual uh, jacket opening in the sides so there is a little bit to be stitched together but not that much and that's just going nice and easily through my machine and I'm not worrying too much about the how the inside looks because that is going to be hidden in the lining so that is great so that was one side done I'm going to do the same for the other bit so folding up here so we're making sure that the opening of the sleeve opening is there that the sides are aligned there and then I'm starting from the bottom of the sleeve opening and then going all the way up towards the shoulder again keeping my kind of distance probably is probably properly probably <laughs> approximately a centimeter and then getting it narrower and narrower as I get up towards the bit where it meets the the fold so uh, it kind of just gradually evens out and then here again, I'm starting at the sleeve opening, but the bottom part of the sleeve opening and then going all the way down under the arm, down towards the side and then down towards the, uh, the coat, the jacket opening. So that's actually then 
very soon the body of the the coat done and then of course we still have to have the lining we still have to have the pockets on and the collar and everything but that you can see now what it's supposed to be so that's very cool that is that first bit done so now's a good time yes to place the pockets to make sure that they're aligned properly you can put them on with pins and just uh, try it on see in the mirror if it fits and if you kind of if it fits with where you want your hands and of course this is a very short coat uh, short little jacket so yeah the pockets will be quite high uh, so you might not walk around with your hands in your pockets but you can still put things in them and that's very nice to have that uh, possibility to be to have that being possible and of course you can also here check how the neck opening is if you need to make that a little bit lower uh, and then you can just stitch on the pockets make sure you don't stitch them on all the way around because you want to keep the top bit open because it is a pocket where you want to be able to put things into I have sometimes stitched on a pocket all the way through uh, just because I wasn't thinking and I was just kind of sewing not really seeing what I was doing and then you have kind of put a pocket on that you can't get into so don't do that just stitch it on uh, along the three sides so you have it open to get into and to use and make sure to remember to take those pins out afterwards so you don't suddenly stab yourself when you do the same with both pockets uh, again make sure they're aligned so you don't have them kind of placed wonky and um, yeah not not being not not being on properly you want to make sure that they are both on in a nice way and that's both pockets on so now we need to get to the actual collar and I have those two bits uh, that I was going to use for the collar so I'm stitching them together um, so I can create a longer piece and of course I could have just cut a longer piece if I had enough fabric but I didn't have more fabric so I had to just create it from what I from what I had uh, and it's a little bit too wide so I'm just uh, cutting off some here and it will also be too long but I'll see that as I get to it. So just folding it out so it's got the outside facing out uh, and then I've got the center of this long piece and I'm placing that uh, in towards the center of the back piece. And of course that doesn't have a seam so I just have to mark it with a pin so I'm sure where it is. And then I'm gonna make the fabric edges uh, align there and then I'm gonna stitch it on. So one piece of collar fabric facing towards the front of the coat uh, fabric and then just stitching it on approximately a centimeter from the edge there so the collar is stitched on all the way along the neck opening and it will be too wide but I will cut that off as I have stitched it on so as you can see there just cutting it off so it fits and doing the same on the other side and then of course that will be folded down like so so it will be a collar that has the nice pink fabric on both sides and now we have the lining and I'm going to stitch that together in exactly the same way as I stitched the coat together. Uh, so I'm starting at the sleeve opening uh, and then just going up towards the shoulder. And again also here it's the, the, it ends with folded fabric so I'm just going to go slightly past that. And not being too careful with this because this will be hidden inside the coat so it doesn't matter if it's, if it's completely straight or not. Just again doing the top bit of the sleeve opening and then I'm going to do both underarm sides down towards the bottom opening bit uh, and on the serger it's really quick so that's super nice and here I'm not stitching it all the way I'm just making a little gap because I need an opening in the lining to actually kind of yeah pull the whole uh, jacket through uh, when I've attached the linings to the actual coat so be sure that you keep a little hole there that you can uh, pull everything out through afterwards and then I'm just going to show you like how the lining is going to go inside the coat as you can see there yes and I'm sure it fits because I measured the lining from the actual piece of fabric that uh, I cut for the jacket so it's all going to be really good and that's the zipper that I'm going to use and uh, you can see it's going to look really nice and again it's a long zipper because I couldn't get one in the exact length so make sure that you align it from the bottom and then you can always cut off excess bits from the yeah from the top that's better and you kind of place it so the front of the fabric 
is facing towards the front of the zipper. Yes. And uh, as I'll get up to the collar, I'll also show you what I do. But I'll start from the bottom, making sure that it's on properly, putting some needles in so it stays in place. And right now I'm not worried about the lining fabric. I'm only attaching it to the outer fabric of the coat. So uh, the lining will do after. And I've kind of marked where the collar needs to be folded so it doesn't extend that bit so the zipper just stops where the collar needs to be folded so and then I'm just gonna kind of fold the zipper out uh, so I don't sew through the zipper teeth but uh, so yeah so the zipper will be closed with the folding of the collar fabric so to speak and then I'm just stitching it very, very close to the zipper teeth uh, without stitching into the zipper teeth. But it's good to move your needle on your machine so it goes all the way to the left. So you stitch very close to the zipper teeth if you don't have a specific uh, zipper foot to your machine. Then I'm going all the way down towards the bottom of the coat opening. And that's one side of the zipper done. And then that yeah, fabric will be folded in. So you'll have uh, the rest of the zipper hidden inside and of course cut off, but, but yes, hidden. And I don't go all the way to the edge, of course, with the zipper because I still need to close the edge of the jacket. So I just go kind of a centimeter from the bottom and make sure that both zipper ends are aligned in the same distance from the bottom, of course. And again, I'm just, I'm just uh, marking where I want the fold of the collar to be and then stitching the zipper on the other part of the zipper and uh, very soon we are ready to put the lining onto it and that's the fun bit, that's also a little bit difficult but it's so satisfying once you get the lining on and you can just hide everything inside the lining and it looks amazing so yeah, that's very very cool and that's both parts of the zipper stitched on and uh, you can test how it works, uh, if it's looking good, if it's on correctly and we haven't cut anything off the zipper yet so we can safely pull it up or down without worrying about that. Just testing it, yes, works brilliantly, amazing. And then it's the lining. So for the lining we need to be sure that we have it facing the right direction so we face uh, the front part of the lining in towards the front part of the actual coat so those two fabrics face in towards each other and then we stitch it on again and I'm just using that same stitch that I stitched uh, the zipper on with before but just putting it on through s stitching through it from the back because then I can I can also stitch uh, the lining layer onto it because then we've got the uh, the zipper part done first and I'm not doing it all the way up because remember that I had to fold, fold the collar so it won't be necessary to go all the way up. I'm doing the same for the other side. So the, the lining, is, is it looks like it's a little bit of a mess now but it's all going to work out. Just be careful that you don't kind of fold it too many times around your coat because then it will be a mess. So make sure that it's just kind of going straight over from one side of the zipper and then to the other side so that it's not the lining isn't twisted or turned kind of inside. And then you can just fold it out. It's still easy to fold it out because we haven't closed it up so much. So you can easily do that You can just check that your zipper still works and everything. And then we're closing up the bottom of the coat. Um, and if there was something that wasn't aligned, you can just cut off extra bits. And they should fit, they should be uh, just uh, the same size because of course we cut the lining fabric from the other pieces. But if they aren't big, uh, if they aren't the same size, of course you need to adjust that before closing this up. But I'm just stitching those two layers together approximately a centimeter from the edges, the front of the lining fabric facing towards the front of the coat fabric and just closing up that bottom bit so that's going to look nice and neat. So that means that we've got the side, side bits closed now and our part uh, almost done closing off the bottom bit. And then it's the sleeves and the neck opening and uh, then just our last little gap that we need to close in the lining. And just, yeah, 
kind of make a nice little corner there use your finger to just poke a nice little corner on that side as well and we can see that the bottom's looking good we can use the zipper oh that is very close to being done so that's very good and then we've got the collar which needs to be folded and uh, we've got the zipper there and that needs to be cut off all that excess zipper of course um, and I'm just going to fold it all the way out now to with the inside out and then I'm going to fold the collar so we've got the front of the fabric facing front of fabric and I'm just going to place it here so I can stitch the collar and the lining together and then I'll actually kind of stitch uh, the last bit of the collar onto the zipper bit uh, last so right now I'm just checking that these pieces go together that they're the same size and again if you want to add a little tape to actually hang up your coat in that could be done now once you're kind of closing up the neck bit and I'm just stitching it together again one centimeter from the edge approximately closing the other part of the collar with the neck opening of the lining and it will soon be done very done we're getting close and the last bit is also yeah the difficult bit and then we've got the zippers here coming out and of course we need to cut those bits off but first we just need to stitch that part of the collar that was missing uh, that wasn't stitched onto the zipper needs to be stitched on so the zipper is attached to kind of both both layers of the of the collar and then I'm just cutting off those excess extra teeth there making sure that it's uh, attached properly and if the zipper teeth are kind of going out uh, onto the back there as you can see and then cut off afterwards then we don't risk that we cut off uh, zipper teeth too soon so that you actually lose the zipper when you try to zip it up so uh, yeah that's an important thing to do and then we just got the sleeves and, uh, and then we got our little opening so for now I'm just trying to pull everything out through my little opening in the lining and you have to be a little bit careful so you don't tear the lining but um, yeah you just uh, you kind of just jiggle jiggle it out like so you can see how nice it looks and we have to have the sleeves in so put the lining of the sleeves into the the sleeves and uh, yeah then you can see how it's supposed to be and then you can go in through the sleeves uh, like in through the body of it or you can go from the actual sleeve opening inside and out and then you find the two layers here and then you just have to kind of go from the inside go in through your little opening and then place the two pieces of fabric together so it's going front of lining facing front of fabric and then you get it through that little gap like so and then pull it out there and then you stitch it together and then you're sure that you can get everything out with you as well so that is the tricky bit but once you've done it a couple of times you will know what to do you will only make a mistake on the sleeve not maybe once but maybe a couple of times but then you will you'll kind of get the trick and then you'll see oh that's how it's supposed to be but you actually have to go in through your little opening through your little gap and then find the two layers and then stitch them together because then you can pull them out like so and they're perfect and you have all those annoying raw edges hidden inside and it's just looking good and you're doing the same for the other side and then I just want to create a little bit of elasticated uh, sleeve opening here because I thought they were a bit wide so I've got this uh, elastic that I'm just going to place inside here the sleeve so I'm doing it on top of the raw edges actually so on top of where I just stitched and then I'm just pulling the elastic as I go around so I'm doing it with a zigzag uh, stitch and then pulling the elastic I've already cut it off to approximately where I want it so I'm pulling it as I stitch uh, be careful of course you don't pull too hard because then I'll have some nice gathers I'll have like a nice little balloon sleeve effect on my sleeve openings and they won't be too wide and too kind of uh, cold and I'll get wind up and such I'll just make sure that they're nice and closed and I'm doing that for both sides but of course you can make them narrower or you can also have them wide and not do that elastic bit it was just 
it was just a little extra thing that I that I wanted to add and I think it looks it looks quite nice looks quite snug there and yes you do exactly the same for the other side the other sleeve again it's tricky but you find the two openings and then you have to go in through that gap that's on the other side the other sleeve so you have to go in through the coat all the way in there and then you find the two layers you place them towards each other and then you find it by going in through your hand and then you pull those two bits out through that opening again and you can see how they're supposed to lie up against each other like this front of fabric towards front of fabric and then you simply stitch them together and of course also do the elastic uh, part on this uh, sleeve bit as well and here I'm just doing it all at once I'm stitching it together while I'm also adding the elastic so um, just now I just want to be done with this beautiful little pink jacket and uh, we're very soon there so this is there's not the last bit but it's almost the last bit there's only this last sleeve and then just that little gap opening um, that needs to be stitched together and that will be inside the sleeve so nobody will ever see that and it's such a good way to hide it in there of course if you wanted to make a reversible jacket you you had to be more careful on also making it look nice uh, closing up that gap inside the the lining sleeve but um, but for this it's fine it's going to look so good so again i'm pulling it out and uh, that's the last kind of proper opening that's stitched up and it already has its elastic and then i just need to find that little gap where was it it was here just finding it and uh, pulling it out so i can get to it and i can actually stitch it closed and for this i'm just folding in the fabric towards the back so i'm kind of making two nice folds uh, one on each side of the fabric placing them towards each other and then just stitching them close by just sewing on top of those two layers very close to each other very close to, not very close to each other of course they're close to each other because they're being stitched together but very close to the edge and then that's that bit done then that bit is closed up and we've got a lovely little jacket and uh, lining and everything is sweet everything's looking nice and neat and uh, yeah it's very pleasing so you know it was great to receive this fabric and i just thought it looked so cute and i wanted to make something cute with it and uh, indeed it happened and uh, just love it as it is so thank you for watching this very long video and see you next time bye bye